Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget X, and today I'm going to show you how to stop notifications while you're listening to music on Android. Now that's something that's always bugged me. When you're kicking back and listening to music on your phone and someone sends you a text, the notification mutes the music for a few seconds. Well, there's actually an easy way to solve this issue, as long as you have the automation app Tasker. Now Tasker is a paid app, so it'll cost you $2.99 on the Play Store. But if you haven't already bought the app, you can grab a copy of the free 7-day trial version from Step 1 in my full tutorial. But before we get started with the Tasker profile, there's a little prep work that you'll need to do. So with Tasker installed, head to your phone's main settings menu, then open the accessibility menu. From here, select the Tasker option, then make sure to toggle the switch at the top of the screen to enable Tasker's accessibility option. With that taken care of though, go ahead and launch Tasker to start setting things up. First off, from the Profiles tab, tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen, then select Application as the context. From this next screen, basically what you want to do is select the apps that you use to listen to music or stream videos, because we're going to set this up to where your ringer won't interrupt you while you're using these apps. Then from there, tap your back button once, then Tasker will ask you to associate a task with this profile. So tap New Task on this pop-up, then name it D&D &D or Do Not Disturb or something like that. From here, it's time to add an action to your task. So go ahead and tap the plus button at the bottom of this screen, then select Audio and choose Do Not Disturb. Now this is using Android's built-in Do Not Disturb feature, so that means it's only available on Lollipop or higher. If you have an older device, you'll have to experiment with adjusting the volume manually using a different task or action. But from this Do Not Disturb menu, just leave everything selected as it is, then hit your back button. At this point, Tasker will ask you to enable its notification listener service. So press OK on this pop-up, then use the following menu to enable the Tasker option, and when you're done there, hit your back button to head back to Tasker. Next up, tap your back button one more time, then take a look at what we've already done here. As you can see, whenever these media apps are open, the profile will kick in and trigger our task, which will then cause the phone to enter Do Not Disturb mode. But as it stands, Do Not Disturb mode will still be on when you leave those apps and stop listening to music, and we don't want that. So to make D&D mode turn back off when you're done listening to music or streaming video, you'll have to add an exit task. To do that, long press the task portion of your profile, then choose Add Exit Task. For this one, go with New Task again, and name it something like D&D Off. Next, hit the plus button at the bottom of the screen to add a new action to this task, and again select Audio, then Do Not Disturb. But this time, use the drop down menu to have it set D&D mode to All, which is the standard notification mode on Android. When you're done there, hit your back button twice to head out to Tasker's main menu, then you'll be all set to go. To summarize, whenever any of these apps are open, Do Not Disturb mode will be enabled. But when you close any of the apps, notifications will go right back to normal. So let's try it out, right? When I open play music here, you can see that the Do Not Disturb icon shows up in my status bar. So while I'm listening to music, there won't be any more of those 3 second pauses when a notification comes in. But when I leave play music, the icon automatically disappears and Do Not Disturb mode gets turned back off. So notifications will come through like normal now. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article on GadgetX.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.